Okay, welcome to this video by RU RT Kids, and this is part of my Wayne Tebow series. And this will be a watercolor video. And just having a look at his, I think it's probably an oil painting, this one of the two funny ice creams. So I'm going to be doing this in just really rudimentary watercolor blocks that you sort of use in schools. I've got some primaries and secondaries, and, and some ochres and umbers. Three brushes, varying sizes. Uh, I've already pre-drawn this out onto some, this isn't watercolour board, this is just like a heavy mount board or cartridge really. Got myself a bit of a tissue rag and just another piece of white paper just to check my colour blending. So let's give this a go and see, see what we can do. So I'm going to start with washes. Um, just looking at the wash on there is going to be, I don't know, let's see what colour, it's quite a minty minty blue actually so let's see what this would look like so that's going to be let's add a little bit of green to that it's too oh i've just put that in my tea that's not good is it don't wash your brush in your tea you guys and there we go i think that's the end of my cup of tea so i think that is going to be this aqua blue but a bit of white and a bit of green in i think that's what we're going to go so we're going to put, lay down some water first Use my big brush to lay down. Yeah, what's that all about? Lay down a, a wet layer so over a wet wash, and then you know, a bit of blue, a bit of white, a bit of green. And lay down this. minty wash. This will bend this paper because it's not watercolour paper. Don't overwork it or over wet it. This is what we call a wet on wet wash. Wet paper. Wet paint. Quite light and transparent. So I'm leave that. Shove it in your laptop a little bit to hold it down. Okay, I'm going to lay down just a series of wet washes. I think watercolor like a sandwich. Should go lighter and then layers and layers and layers upon. So I'm going to put down a little bit of water just on the cones. I'm going to lay down. Just a very light wash of yellow ochre and white. Just to lay that down there. Let that dry. And then this one at the bottom here is, what would I say that is? It's blue, it's got some red in it. So just lay down. A bit of water. This is just about quick watercolor basics. And then I'm going to put a little bit of dark blue, a bit of red. Oh, that's, that's not right. That's nowhere near. Far too purple. Try the blue with a bit of green. A bit more blue, maybe. Not far off there with a bit of dark blue and green. So...
laptop's going to sleep. Okay, so just laying that wash down. Um, and then we've got, it's like a blue and black shadow, a bit of aqua. And that's far too bright. Right, let's put that down there. More black in it actually than anything. I'm going to put it down quite crudely. Move it around and add some more colours in. A smaller brush. This one's got more red in it. Almost like bits of purple. And they've both got bits of black in as well. Quite a lot of black. Sharpen that up. Damp brush. Um, right, okay, what next? So I'm gonna put a little bit of water down on here on the side of the ice cream itself. And I'm just gonna get that water just bleeding with a little bit very very light blue a little bit of red and then I'm just going to take that water off just keep doing my brush See, by it being wet, just allows me to move it around without leaving any heavy lines. And soften, soften the edges a little bit. Strange little flicks of colour in places. I'm just mirroring in his. I'm just going to blend in. Blend in here. cherry on. I'll start with quite a ruby red. Press that down a little bit. Just leave a little dot as a highlight. And then move on to the next one. And then I'm just going to put some flicks of colour in for the mouth. I'm going to take some of that red from there and just add it in. It's also seems quite got like a, a 
tinge of red kicking about. Strange red orange lines here. A bit heavy. Let's knock that back a little bit. I think these eyes are black. Super perfect. Oh, that one's a bit wet. Like that. Might just put a bit of a black line under there, I think. Just soften that. Now I can't create that sort of heavy texture of oil paints with, with the watercolours as such. The dry drag brush. Just that sort of aqua line that he has in it. Try and get slightly darker. Not very. I'm just going to put that in quite rough with a very dry brush. I don't over, overwork it. I'm going to use my damp brush to just move that about a bit. Like this sort of brown orange on here. Yeah, that's more like it. And then, yeah, it's also there, I think. And then I'm going to put the sort of dry waffling on. So it goes. Just get the angle. Don't want to be too wet and fine. So that's a bit heavy. Yeah, don't want it to be too, too deliberate. So we're doing just knock that line back a little bit. There's all sorts of strange little flicks in here. It's kind of 
so it's a marks in and around. Size of the coke a little. Oh, that looks a bit too heavy. So this is my Wayne Tebow two comical ice creams having looked at his oil painting there and done my little version there. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.